What is the standard speed of an EKG machine paper? A. 50 mm per second. B. 25 mm per second. C. 75 mm per second. D. 10 mm per second. Answer B. The standard EKG paper speed is 25 mm per second to ensure accurate rhythm analysis. Which lead is created by placing electrodes on the right arm and left leg? A. Lead I. B. Lead 2. C. Lead 3. D. AVR. Answer B. Lead 2 records electrical activity between the right arm and left leg and is commonly used for rhythm monitoring. The normal PR interval should be between a. 0.04 to 0.10 seconds. B. 0.08 to 0.12 seconds. C. 0.12 to 0.20 seconds. D. 0.20 to 0.40 seconds. Answer. C. The PR interval measures the time from atrial to ventricular depolarization, normally 0.12 to 0.20 seconds. What is the main purpose of the AV node in the heart's conduction system? A. Start the heartbeat. B. Prevent ventricular contraction. C. Delay impulse to allow ventricular filling. D. Depolarize the atria. Answer. C. The AV node delays the impulse from the SA node, allowing the ventricles time to fill with blood. A U wave is most commonly associated with A. Hyperkalemia B. Hypokalemia C. Myocardial infarction D. Atrial fibrillation Answer B. Prominent U waves can appear with low potassium hypokalemia. Which artifact is most likely caused by muscle movement? A. Wandering baseline B. AC interference. C. Somatic tremor. D. Interrupted baseline. Answer. C. Somatic tremor appears as a regular, erratic spikes due to muscle activity like shivering. What is the primary pacemaker of the heart? A. AV node. B. SA node. C. Purkinje fibers. D. Bundle of his. Answer. B. The SA node initiates the heartbeat and is considered the heart's natural pacemaker. Which lead is typically used to monitor a patient continuously in a hospital setting? A. Lead 3. B. Lead 2. C. AVL. D. V6. Answer. B. Lead 2 gives the best view of the heart's rhythm and is commonly used for continuous monitoring. Ventricular depolarization is represented by the A. P wave B. PR interval C. QRS complex D. T wave Answer. C. The QRS complex shows the depolarization of the ventricles. Which of the following must be done before placing electrodes on a patient's chest? A. Apply lotion. B. Shave the chest if needed. C. Use water to moisten the area. D. Spray disinfectant. Answer. B. Shaving the chest improves electrode contact and signal quality. The T wave represents A. Atrial depolarization. B. Ventricular depolarization. C. Ventricular repolarization. D. Atrial repolarization. Answer. C. The T wave reflects the recovery, repolarization, of the ventricles after contraction. Which condition is considered a medical emergency on an EKG? A. Sinus bradycardia. B. Atrial fibrillation. C. Ventricular fibrillation. D. First-degree heart block. 
Answer, C. Ventricular fibrillation is life-threatening and requires immediate defibrillation. When applying a Holter monitor, the patient should be instructed to A. Sleep during the test. B. Avoid all activity. C. Keep a diary of activities and symptoms. D. Remove it at night. Answer, C. Patients must record symptoms and activities to correlate with any abnormalities. What is the purpose of calibration on an EKG machine? A. To detect heart murmurs. B. To ensure paper is loaded correctly. C. To verify accurate measurement of waves. D. To prevent artifacts. Answer, C. Calibration ensures the EKG machine is accurately recording amplitude and timing. What is the normal amplitude, height, of the calibration mark on EKG paper? A. 5 mm. B. 10 mm. C. 15 mm. D. 25 mm. Answer, B. A standard calibration mark is 10 mm tall, equal to 1 mV of electrical signal. Which condition would most likely show tall, peaked T waves? A. Hypocalcemia. B. Hyperkalemia. C. Hypernatremia. D. Hypoglycemia. Answer, B. Elevated potassium levels, hyperkalemia, produce tall peaked T waves. An interrupted baseline is most likely due to A. Muscle tremors B. Poor lead connection C. Patient talking D. Low battery Answer, B. Loose or disconnected leads can interrupt the baseline and produce gaps in the tracing. The leads placed on the chest are known as A. Bipolar leads. B. Augmented leads. C. Precordial leads. D. Limb leads. Answer C. Precordial leads, V1, V6, are placed across the chest to view the heart from horizontal planes. The term artifact on an EKG refers to A. Normal heart activity. B. External interference. C. Heart disease. D. Ventricular depolarization. Answer, B. Artifacts are non-cardiac electrical signals that interfere with the accuracy of the tracing. Which wave precedes atrial contraction? A. QRS complex. B. T wave. C. U wave. D. P wave. Answer, D. The P wave represents atrial depolarization which triggers atrial contraction. A junctional rhythm originates from the A. SA node B. AV node C. Purkinje fibers D. Right atrium Answer, B. Junctional rhythms begin in the AV node when the SA node fails. Which lead views the heart from the left leg upward? A. AVR B. AVL C. AVF D. Lead I Answer, C. Augmented vector foot, AVF, records activity from the foot upward to the heart. Which EKG change is typical in myocardial infarction? A. Short PR interval B. Flattened T wave. C. ST segment elevation. D. Narrow QRS complex. Answer. C. ST elevation is often seen in acute myocardial infarction and indicates injury. What should be done if a patient complains of chest pain during an EKG? A. Stop the test and call for help. B. Continue the test and ignore symptoms. C. Move all leads to one side. D. Remove the leads immediately. Answer, A. 
chest pain may indicate a serious issue, stop and notify medical staff immediately. The QRS complex duration should normally be a. Less than 0.08 seconds b. Between 0.06 to 0.10 seconds c. Greater than 0.12 seconds d. Exactly 0.20 seconds Answer, B. A normal QRS complex lasts between 0.06 and 0.10 seconds. In which lead is the R wave progression monitored? A. Leads 1 to 3. B. AVR. C. V1, V6. D. AVF. Answer, C. Our wave progression is assessed across the chest leads V1 to V6 for signs of infarction or axis deviation. Which component of the EKG reflects the time from the beginning of atrial depolarization to the beginning of ventricular depolarization? A. QRS complex. B. PR interval. C. QD interval. D. ST segment. Answer, B. The PR interval covers the electrical signal traveling from the atria to the ventricles. An inverted P wave on an EKG may indicate A. Normal sinus rhythm B. Atrial tachycardia C. Junctional rhythm D. Sinus arrhythmia Answer, C. Inverted P waves are often seen in junctional rhythms where impulses originate near the AV node. What is the most appropriate step if an EKG shows ventricular tachycardia and the patient is unresponsive? A. Perform another EKG. B. Call for help and begin CPR. C. Document and notify supervisor later. D. Wait 5 minutes and recheck. Answer, B. Ventricular tachycardia in an unresponsive patient requires immediate resuscitation. A positive deflection on the EKG means that the electrical activity is moving A. Away from the positive electrode B. Toward the negative electrode C. Toward the positive electrode D. Laterally across the chest Answer, C. A wave traveling toward a positive electrode creates a positive, upward, deflection on the EKG.